Guys, just made it to this country after traveling for 30 hours, but I've lost a lot in the past 30 hours. Here's what happened. I think she's having a mental breakdown. Anyway guys, amid all this like moving our entire house away and the rustiness of packing, I have a big news to announce. Travel vlogs are back. Travel vlogs are back! Lots of shorts because it will be hot over there. Oh, hi, Lady Zhuo. Let's say go. Tell them what's happening, Finny. Travel vlogs are back. Gigi, take care of your eyes. How much time? Oh my! Don't move on your own. How do you follow this? Well, when I travel, I really don't care about like what clothes I I bring because you can always buy on the go. But what I care is this. So this is the main vlogging camera. I bring a B-roll camera, the mid-range lens, the long zoom, three camera lenses for one B-roll camera. Drone. It's old, but it's good. 360 camera, GoPro, backup Gorilla Bandy Pot, iPad, MacBook, Georgia's MacBook, hard disk one, backup hard disk, SD card storage. I forgot how stressful travel vlogs are. But they are back! Seems so empty. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my god. Torres, what ticket did you book? What did you do? Why are we going to Bangkok? I was wondering if Bangkok is to lock the gate. No, it's not. It's not. But... Do you have a picture? Have you ever been that stressful at an airport counter? I just feel zero stress. I'm just like, uh, I can't even fathom what's going on. Years ago, I would thought this shop has been looted. Nothing. Nothing. There are two purposes of our travel this time. One of the purposes which we are flying to right now, it's because of a long promise that I made to my friend. We're flying there to see him in the north of Africa, we slowly make our way down to South Africa, where Georgia is from. It has been two years since she has been back home. So <laughs> Traveling is not the same anymore. And I feel like a huge population of the world is adapting to a new way of traveling. Like we're about to fly to this northern part of Africa and on the airline website they said, oh, you don't have to do a COVID test. On a different website, it says you have to do a COVID test, but we did it anyway yesterday. And I know for Georgia and I to go to the north of Africa, we will need to be vaccinated. So we did get vaccinated. In Hong Kong, there are like three different formats of like vaccination proof. When we went to check in at the counter, we showed one of them and she was like, no, 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 no. You have to show the other one. And then she was like, no, 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 you need to show the hard copy and then she said you don't need to show the hard copy <laughs> information is all over the place we literally thought we have up and we can't get on the plane so what? did you tell the viewers what are coming back travel vlogs hello, hello. am i not sitting next to you just together. what's your seat i'm 32a Oh, I'm 43 Oh wait, sorry, this is the wrong ticket I showed them. Leg room, not too bad. Thanks. They give you a tiny hand sanitizer here. So your instinct might make you think that fewer people flying means cheaper airfare. 
It's kind of true, it costs us 8,000 Hong Kong dollars for round trip to Africa. But if we fly business class, it would be 135,000 Hong Kong dollars. Ain't nobody got time for that. in the morning Dubai airport already lit the contrast is real I heard that coffee in Dubai is very famous one long black well, which beans you like sir oh which beans mm. you can smell it if you want oh I can smell it yes yeah, sure okay this one I don't even know what I'm smelling Coffee is indeed very good here. Halfway through our journey to the north of Africa, so the flight eventually got more full as we were picking up more passengers in Bangkok. I think it was like 90% full. I think that's because Thailand just opened up, so a lot of people are traveling in and out. And the most disgusting thing happened in that flight. So I accidentally saw this guy who was playing with his foot on the plane, like picking the dead skin off his foot. And then he was touching the screen trying to go through different movies. So I had to pull an emergency and sanitize the monitor in front of me because I was so grossed out. Perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. So I traveled 30 hours on the plane to see my Tunisian friend who came to study in my uni four years ago. We got quite close, but he was only there for one semester. I told him I would come visit his country one day, and today is the day. Uh, crazy story. Stories that normally don't happen to tourists in Tunisia, but it happens to tourist pit. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Karim. He had to rescue us at the airport, and now he has he paid for our SIM card, and now he's buying us water. Oh my god, thanks Karim, you're so nice. Karim, you are a legend. You are a Tunisian legend. Oh, you're the legend. You are a real legend. You're the legend. What will I do without you? How are you feeling me in Tunisia? Looks like South Africa here. A little bit like, I mean, similar kind of vibe. Yeah. It's Africa, I guess. Oh, it's Africa's a big yeah. continent. Yeah, we have two Africans in the house, in the car, I mean. Look at that. Okay. It's lucky my computer is still here. This is the craziest airport experience I've ever had. So we landed in Tunisia, it was amazing, it was great. And then we went through the custom, leaving the country, and all of a sudden the machine went like beep 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 beep. Five police just came in and they were like, what are you taking to our country? And then I opened that suitcase where I put my drone and cameras and lenses and then they didn't like the drone. Apparently, if you want to bring a drone into Tunisia, you need approval from the president of Tunisia. They didn't like my drone at all, and then they started interrogating me. They were like, oh, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a YouTuber. So they said, what kind of YouTube videos? So they went through all my YouTube videos, and I couldn't really understand what they were talking about because they were speaking in Arabic and some French and a mixture of Tunisian dialect. And then Kareem, my Tunisian friend who's outside of the custom, like waiting for me for two hours, thinking that I might have gone missing, couldn't come in and rescue me and they finally let him come in and rescue me but then they still didn't like the drone so they took the whole suitcase with all my cameras in there and then they give me this piece of paper for me to take back all my cameras and drone when I leave the country Film me with a phone Travel vlogs really are back but I guess I'll have to do them without cameras <laughs> How am I even gonna do this? Editing the video now and guys go check out our merch website because it's on and uh, follow me on Instagram because you get the latest travel updates from us. Ciao! Thanks for the support! <laughs>